Yes, good morning, my dear students. Today, uh, we will be continuing the same chapter which we had done previously. Uh, so today, last class we had done melting point, melting, evaporation, boiling point, condensation and then the condensation point. So there is uh, one uh, activity, you know, one experiment uh, to show condensation of water vapor. To show condensation of water vapor, it is in page number 59. Okay, so look at there. Aim. What is the aim of the experiment is uh, to show condensation of water vapor. So materials required a beaker, clear, a small beaker containing water, a Bunsen burner, then a wire gauze, a tripod stand, a cover for the beaker, then a pair of tongs. These are the requirements, clear. And what is the process method? Look at there. Set up your experiments. That means, first of all, you'll have to set up your uh, set up the apparatus. Clear? It is as it is shown in the diagram. Look at their uh, figure uh, or the activity 3.10. And then bring the water in the beaker to a boil. That means bring the water. Clear? Then in the beaker. That means, sir, put water in the beaker and then starts boiling. Once the water starts uh, boiling, cover the beaker. One, when the water starts boiling, you cover it, clear, the beaker. After a minute, uh, lift the cover, uh, lift the cover and observe, clear. Just after one minute, clear, or after few minutes, just you can lift the cover. Then uh, you can see, you can observe. So what do you observe is the water vapor or steam condenses into water droplets. That means you see the droplets of water in the cover, clear, on the outer side of the cover. So conclusion is, we can conclude that steam condenses into water, steam condenses into water as soon as it comes in contact with the cooler portion of the plate clear so this is the experiment to prove the condensation of water vapor now there is another topic the means topic of freezing a matter changes its state from uh, liquid to solid on further reduction of temperature that means the matter changes its state clear matter changes its state from liquid to solid, liquid to solid on further reduction of temperature. That means on further cooling of temperature. This process is known as what? Freezing. That means the process by which liquid changes into solid on further cooling or further reduction of temperature that is known as Freezing. Clear? So the temperature at which liquid turns into solid is called freezing point. That means the temperature at which a solid turns into, uh, uh, sorry, the temperature at which liquid turns into solid, that is known as what? Freezing point. Clear? So this is about the freezing point. And there is another topic sublimation now what is sublimation the process by which solid changes directly into gas on heating without passing through a liquid state is called sublimation now see another topic is sublimation and sublimation is the process by which solid changes directly into gas without changing into liquid solid it changes from solid to gas directly without changing into liquid that is on heating clear uh, without uh, uh, passing through a liquid state that is known as what sublimation that means sublim in, in a in short form we can say that the process by which solid changes into gas clear that is known as what 
sublimation. The gaseous state of the substance obtained during sublimation is called sublime. That means the gaseous state of the substance obtained during sublimation, clear, which obtains during sublimation, that is known as what? Sublime. So the substance formed when a gas changes back into its solid state is called sublimate. Clear? So that is known as what? And that means the substance formed when a gas changes back into its solid state is known as what? Sublimate. So this is about sublimation and the sublimate. Then another one, deposition. Now let us see what is deposition. The process by which gas transforms into solid without passing through liquid state is called deposition. Now see another one is the process by which gas transforms into solid. Clear? Gas transforms into solid. Clear? That is without passing through liquid. Clear? So uh, in the previous one it was the process by which solid changes into gas without changing into liquid that was known as sublimation clear and it just opposite the process by which gas transforms into solid without changing into liquid that is known as what deposition it is also known as mm, desublimation clear that is also known as what desublimation now see there is a chart how we can change the different states of matter clear it is a chart uh, shown here in the picture shown here uh, just look at the ice it is a solid clear so when ice melts clear when ice melts it convert into water clear and water what will happen when it boils it convert into steam clear when it converts into steam and in just reverse process the steam on condensation it changes into what you call it uh, liquid that is in the form of water and water on further cooling clear that will convert into ice that means it is the reverse process first of all ice melts clear into water clear and water evaporates in the form of water vapor or in steam clear and steam uh, what will happen on further cooling what will happen or condensation it will convert into water and water on further cooling it will convert into ice in the form of solid state clear so this is the chart clear so with this chart we can define we can define uh, what is uh, melting, what is evaporation, what is condensation, what is freezing and all we can define it easily with the help of this chart. Clear? So remember this one. This is most important chart that you can uh, follow it nicely. What will happen? You can define it all the states of matter. Okay. Now there is one experiment to show sublimation of ammonium chloride materials required is a funnel clear then a tripod stand then one china dish a small china dish clear then a cotton then ammonium chloride a wire gauze and then a bunsen burner these are the requirements to prove the experiment uh, or to show uh, sublimation of ammonium chloride so how to do it what is the method now first of all you set up the apparatus clear first of all you set up as soon it is as soon it is in the diagram then uh, place some ammonium chloride in the china dish a small um, what you call it container china dish clear you place some ammonium chloride there then cover the china dish with an inverted funnel that means you will have to invert the funnel clear then plug the opening of the funnel with the help of a piece of cotton in order to prevent the 
ammonium chloride vapors from escaping into the atmosphere. Then what we have to do? Plug the opening clear of the funnel with the help of a piece of cotton. A piece of cotton you can just place it in order to prevent the ammonium chloride vapor clear from escaping into the temperature sorry into the atmosphere then what you'll have to do it now heat the china dish with the help of the burner then you heat it clear heat it then what you are observing is the ammonium chloride changes into white vapor clear ammonium chloride it changes into white vapor and then the vapor condenses to form solid ammonium chloride when it comes in contact with the cooler parts of the funnel then what will happen the vapor condenses clear in the form of ammonium chloride uh, when it come in contact clear when it uh, come in contact uh, with the cooler part of the funnel clear then conclusion what is the conclusion of the experiment so uh, that ammonium chloride undergoes sublimation on heating and deposition or desublimation on cooling once again ammonium chloride undergoes sublimation on heating and deposition or desublimation on cooling so this is the experiment proving that the sublimation of ammonium chloride clear so so we will do this much for today and we will continue in the next class okay thank you